Today, let's assemble the 3-in-1 X-Move pram. The set includes front and rear wheels, safety bar, parents handlebar, basket frame, the canopy, 2-in-1 seat with a mattress, mink car seat, 2-in-1 seat frame component, and accessories. A foot muff, two adapters, bag, changing mat, two bag hangers, a cup holder, rain shield, mosquito net. Start by undoing the hook. Now pull the ends of the frame simultaneously until you hear a click. Then attach the free ends of the basket to the frame. Afterwards, slide the rear wheel axles into the openings until you hear a click. Do the same with the front wheels. And we slide the parent's handle into these openings. When you hear a click, you can be sure the fasteners are secured. The frame is assembled. Now let's install the carry cot. Remove the shoulder straps. Slide this part of the frame into the openings of the carry cot. When you hear a click, you can be sure that the fasteners are secured. Now zip up around the carry cot. The bar under the carry cot is fastened with straps and secured with snap fasteners. It can be attached to the pram's frame. A simple click and you're done. The mattress should always be placed inside the carry cot or the stroller. The mattresses and carry cot's material can be easily hand washed. For your child's comfort, the hip straps should be placed under the mattress. The safety bar can be used for both the carry cot and the pram. Insert it into the openings on the sides of the frame until you hear the sound of locking on both sides. Canopy installation. Start by sliding the plastic clips into the carry cot frame mounting points. There should be an audible click. Then wrap the material around the lever at the back of the hood. Now fasten the Velcro straps on the hood. And this is how you convert the carry cot into a seat. Pull out the straps on both sides of the carry cot and under the footrest. Lift the backrest. The ends of the removed straps are connected behind the backrest, under the seat and under the footrest. After fastening the straps correctly, the seat should look like this. Strap installation. Put the crotch strap and waist strap through the openings in the mattress. Assemble the shoulder straps by sliding them into the openings in the backrest. To fasten the straps, combine the hip and shoulder straps and slide them into the clamp in the middle until you hear a click. To undo the harness, press the button in the middle of the buckle. Always adjust the shoulder straps by sliding them into the plastic buckles, like so. Strap protectors can be removed for cleaning. To do that, unfasten the strap and slide the pad off. Straps can be adjusted to a different height. Remove the strap and put it into the appropriate opening in the backrest. A stop and ride brake is located on the rear axle. To engage it, press the lever. 
To unlock the wheels, press the brake lever on the other side. The front wheels can be locked in a fixed position for riding in a straight line. Just lower the lock slider. The seat can be positioned either forwards or backwards relative to the travelling direction. To change the position, press the buttons on the sides, reposition the seat and reattach it. The hood can be extended. Unfasten the zipper and unfold the canopy. The material of the hood can be attached in such a way to reveal the net. By doing this, you provide the baby with more airflow. To adjust the parent's handlebar, press the locking buttons on both sides and adjust the handlebar to the desired height. There are eight positions to choose from. The safety bar can be attached on one or both sides. The protector can be removed for cleaning. To change the seat angle, reach to the lever behind the backrest. There are three positions to choose from. Sitting, reclining and lying position. The basket can be removed for cleaning. We can just as easily put it back on. Adapters compatible with multiple car seats are included. Slide the adapters into the frame openings until you hear a click. They should be slightly tilted towards the parent. Slide the seat onto the adapters and make sure it is properly secured. Note that the seat is always placed in the frame facing rearward. To remove the adapters, press the lock buttons on each of them. To remove the adapters out of the carrier, press here and pull them out. The set includes a number of useful accessories. The bag is hung on the parent's handlebar with the included hangers. A changing mat is also included. The cup holder is inserted in the mount on the right side of the frame. Install the mosquito net and secure it with velcro straps. Likewise, the rain cover is placed on the pram and attached with velcro straps. A foot cover is also included. It can be slid over the frame like this. Wrap the ribbons on both sides around the safety bar and fasten the snap fasteners. Buttons are located here. To fasten these in the upper section, pull the end of the cover through the safety bar and thread the buttons through the loops. Snap fasteners are also on the sides. They are used to attach the cover to the carry cot material. Pram disassembly instructions are as follows. First, remove the seat or car seat. Remove the front wheel by pressing the button above it. Do the same with the rear wheels. Then, turn the cup holder upside down. Now, press the frame folding lock Pull the levers on both sides and lower the parent's handlebar. You can hear a click when the lock is activated. And that's all you need to know about the X-Move Pram. Enjoy your walks!